Actress Joan Collins has had a huge impact on the entertainment world with her many roles. Whether it's in movies or TV shows, she's become a legend in acting. When you think about all the work she's done, you might wonder which project really defined her career. And for a lot of people, the first time they noticed her as a great actress sticks in their memory. Share your earliest memory of seeing her on screen. Feel free to share your stories and memories about this classic actor in the comments. Keep watching for more surprising, funny, and touching facts about Joan Collins. Your journey through her life and work has just started. In the glamorous realm of Hollywood, one individual stands out Joan Collins. A true icon of the silver screen, she captured audiences with her undeniable talent and timeless beauty. Throughout her impressive career, she made a significant impression on the entertainment industry. Born in England, Collins began acting at a young age, refining her skills on stage before moving to film and television. Her magnetic presence and captivating performances quickly propelled her to stardom, earning her praise and admiration worldwide. Collins' importance in her era cannot be overstated. As one of Hollywood's most recognizable faces, she broke barriers and exceeded expectations, demonstrating that age is no barrier to success. Her roles were not just performances, they provided insight into the human experience, touching hearts and inspiring minds. Beyond her on-screen talent, Collins became a symbol of strength and resilience, navigating fame's ups and downs with grace. She embraced her role as a cultural icon, using her platform to support causes she believed in and inspire positive change. In every role she took on, Collins brought depth, nuance, and authenticity, leaving a lasting impact that continues to influence audiences today. Her contributions to the entertainment industry are not only celebrated but cherished, serving as a reminder of her unparalleled talent and unwavering dedication. In a world where fame is fleeting, Collins remains a shining example of timeless elegance and enduring talent. Her influence on the entertainment industry will always be remembered, inspiring future generations. Joan Collins played Joseph Avellard in The Bravados and later appeared on Star Trek, the original series in an episode called City on the Edge of Forever. She lived with Robin Hurlstone from 1988 to 2001. In Dynasty, she was famous for playing Alexis Carrington Colby. During the ninth season, both Linda Evans and Joan missed some episodes. Joan said it was because of scheduling issues, but it was actually because of money problems. She only showed up in a few episodes because of salary disagreements. Even with these problems, her role in the show made her really well-known and loved by audiences, making her a big name in TV history. This info was, Joan Collins became famous for playing Alexis Carrington Colby in the 1980s TV show Dynasty. The show was not just about family drama, but also influenced fashion. The fancy power suits and big shoulder pads worn by Collins and her co-star Linda Evans became famous symbols of 1980s fashion. Their style was so influential that many magazines featured it on their covers. This influenced another show, Dallas, to hire a new costume designer to compete in fashion. Besides her acting, Joan Collins made interesting choices in her personal life. She turned down advances from famous people like Frank Sinatra and Robert F. Kennedy. She had relationships with different people, including Bill Wiggins, Mick Flick, George England, Robert Evans, Arthur M. Lowe Jr., Gardner McKay, Harry Belafonte, Warren Beatty, Dennis Hopper, Sidney Chaplin, and Ryan O'Neill. Joan Collins' life is full of fascinating connections and decisions, both in Hollywood and in her personal life. These things help us understand the person behind the famous roles and glamorous image. Joan Collins became famous for playing Alexis Carrington Colby in the famous TV series Dynasty. She said her character was like a powerful woman version of Donald Trump. But in the last season, she didn't appear in every episode because she wanted more money. She stopped filming for a while until they agreed on her pay, and then she came back. In her personal life, she met Percy Gibson, her fifth husband, during a play in the U.S. He worked in the theater and helped her edit her book, Star Quality. Even though she was much older than him, she was 68, and he was 36, they fell in love, which surprised many people. Their relationship got a lot of attention from the media and the public, but they stayed together and supported each other. They showed that love can be strong no matter the age difference. Joan Collins' story, both on and off the screen, still interests people all over the world. She made a big impact on the entertainment industry and continues to inspire others. This was... Joan Collins, famous for playing Alexis Carrington Colby in Dynasty, has a special place in TV history. 
She's one of the few actors who were special guest villains on the 1960s series Batman and are still alive. Others in this group include Julie Newmar, John Ashton, Glynis Johns, and Barbara Rush. Besides acting, Joan Collins also had a family tie as the former stepmother of Robert Cass. In her role as Alexis Carrington Colby, she made a big impact on viewers. When her character left at the end of season 9, people weren't happy. She spoke out about it publicly and said she wouldn't come back for the next season, but the show ended before that happened. Later though, she did return for a miniseries two years later. Her work on TV, especially as Alexis Carrington Colby, is memorable and significant in entertainment history. Known for her iconic portrayal of Alexis Carrington Colby in Dynasty, she drew inspiration from Larry Hagman's character in Dallas. Advising the writers against making her character too sinister, she feared it might alienate viewers. Despite initial concerns when Dynasty first graced the screens, it quietly but steadily gained popularity. This led to her continued involvement in subsequent seasons, witnessing the show's meteoric rise to fame. Joan Collins portrayed Marilyn Freiser in Empire of the Ants. Throughout her time on set, she encountered numerous challenges, particularly with the ant props. These props proved to be more than just inanimate objects. They were unwieldy creatures that often collided with and left scratches on the actors, herself included. Despite her discomfort, she persisted in delivering her performance with professionalism and grace. Prior to her role in Empire of the Ants, she experienced a significant personal event on her 21st birthday. It marked the end of her marriage to Maxwell Reed, signaling a new chapter in her life both personally and professionally. This transition proved pivotal, leading her down a path that would eventually see her become a celebrated figure in the entertainment industry. Interestingly, her performance in Empire of the Ants garnered attention beyond the film itself. In the book Son of Golden Turkey Awards by Harry and Michael Medev, she was honored with the award for the most humiliating performance by a future television star. This recognition, while perhaps not the most flattering, speaks to her versatility as an actress and her ability to leave a lasting impression on audiences. In summary, Joan Collins' portrayal of Marilyn Freiser in Empire of the Ants was not without its challenges, but it served as another stepping stone in her illustrious career, marked by both personal growth and professional success. Joan Collins, renowned for her role as Alexis Carrington Colby in Dynasty, made a significant contribution to television history. Initially, the character of Alexis was supposed to be less assertive, but Joan suggested portraying her more boldly, similar to J.R. Ewing from Dallas. ABC executives agreed, thinking Dynasty needed a strong character like that to compete with Dallas. During a memorable scene, there was a fight between Linda Evans and Joan. Linda accidentally hurt herself while pushing Joan aggressively. Despite the incident, Joan continued her performance with unwavering dedication. Throughout her career, she has remained active in acting, never officially retiring. Her commitment to her craft is clear in her consistent presence on screen, 